Well, for, first, the, the, the clerkship was not an easy uh, road. It, it, uh, there's a, uh, I love to tell the story that the judge that I clerked for is Judge Luther Swigert, Seventh Circuit. He was really terrific. Um, but when I sat down to interview with him, he said to me, well, he said, uh, are you going to have marry and have children? Because I don't want to waste a clerkship on someone who's just going to marry and have children. So you should tell me, are you going to marry and have children? So coming out of Yale Law School, I didn't know what to do with this comment. I know what I thought of, but I couldn't say that to him. I knew what I wanted to do, but I couldn't do that to him. <laughs> so I said, well, Judge Swigert, of course, I will never marry and have children. It was sort of true, because at that moment, I had no such plans. And really, um, something I say to young women, I actually could not envision a relationship with a man who would support the kind of career that I wanted to have. So it wasn't far from the truth to say to him, no, I was never going to marry and have children. Then we, I had a clerkship year that was wonderful. And many years later, when he was celebrating his 80th birthday, he asked me to speak on behalf of all the clerks. I was at that point living with my now husband. And so I got in front of all the clerks and people from his bad past, and I told the story about how I promised Judge Swigert that I would never marry and have children. And then I turned to him and got on my knees. And I said, Judge Swigert, I'm 39, barren. Release me from the pledge. <laughs> uh, and he did. 